Hey everyone, my name is Jen, and today I will be sharing an art activity. We will be making a wind stick. And as you can see, uh, my resident preschooler has already enjoyed this art activity, but she'll be starting from scratch. So here we go. To make the wind stick, you're going to need a paper towel tube and some string. I pre-attached mine, but you can do it at the end if you have a more patient preschooler. I did not have one in my house, so I pre-attached it. And you will need something to make streamers. I happen to have some gift, uh, gift tissue in my house, so I cut it into streamers. And then uh, my resident preschooler wanted to make some using coffee filters, and she took them with her. Uh, to dry them and so I just cut the coffee filters into strips. She decorated those with markers and she also decorated them with paint. You can use whatever you have in your house. Uh, I happen to have paint and markers and uh, you can use crayons, you can use Thomas's train stickers, you can use chalk, you can use stamps, whatever your uh, kiddo enjoys is what you should use. Because honestly, that's gonna win, that's gonna make the activity most engaging for your child, and um, yeah, those are the uh, materials that you need. And to make the the activity really engaging, you're gonna want to sit face to face with your child. Uh, so if you're sitting at the table, just pick a chair next to them. Uh, we did the activity on the floor today, so I just sat on the floor uh, next to the resident preschooler in my house. And you're going to want to narrate the activity using your fun parent voice. Hey, look what we're doing today. We're splashing the paint. As you can see, we did a lot of paint splashing this morning. And the preschooler that is in my house does not like to get paint on her fingers as I just did. So we used some brushes. But you can also use your child's interest so you can use this is Captain Marvel for those of you who don't know you can use your child's favorite toys and run those through the paint and then run them along the paint tube I may get in trouble for this later or you could use Thomas the Tank Engine Thomas the Tank Engine or if your child's really into Lightning McQueen use Lightning McQueen and you can make it really visual for your child by making them swoop in and then running over the paper towel tube. Uh, you can make it really, if your child uh, really enjoys that auditory, the, the sounds and auditory experiences in general, you can add fun sound effects. Thomas the Train can go choo 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 or uh, cars, Lightning McQueen can go kachiga kachiga and I think I might be saying that wrong. That's okay. Uh, and just make the activity really fun for the child. Uh, in a variety of sensory ways. I'm going to post a tip sheet with this, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me. Bye.